federal government announced on Wednesday that it has carried out a significant analytical operation with a focus on people who were funding the Boko Haram terrorist organization and its local affiliates. The government claimed it had so far requested further information about the alleged financiers of terrorism from 28 nations, which it revealed during the opening session of a five-day compliance summit organized by the Intergovernmental Action Group Against Money Laundering in West Africa or GABA. Mr. Mohamed Jia, the director of the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, NFU, stated that the government had received responses from nations such as Benin, Cameroon, Chad, Ghana, and Niger. The intelligence report presented to the government led to the development of an interagency operation which resulted in the degradation of Boko Haram activities. The head of the NFIU said, I'm pleased to inform this group that the Shad platform on terrorism financing this week increased its membership to 11 countries, including observers Ghana, Guinea, and the Central African Republic, as well as active members Nigeria, Chad, Cameroon, Mali, Burkina Faso, Togo, Niger, and Benin. The Chad Basin and Sahel countries will henceforth have meetings every three months. Both experience exchange and the operational sources of security organizations benefit from this new synergy. He noted that three of the top 10 countries in the 22 Global Terrorism Index, GTI, were from West Africa and characterized the summit, which has the team current and emerging money laundering and terrorist financing issues as appropriate and urgent. It will be recalled that in September of last year, Mr. Abaka Malami San, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, stated that the investigation to identify individuals responsible for the insurgent operations in the nation was well long. According to him, the government would reveal their identities when it was suitable through a legal procedure that would involve prosecution. The government would issue a statement in this regard when it is appropriate, he added, adding that the inquiry has proceeded to an advanced point. The Director General of GABA, Mr. Abba Kimel Labalo, praised Nigerians' efforts in the fight against money laundering and tourism financing in West Africa during his speech at the conference. He emphasized that recent actions taken by the nation such as the signing into law of three crucial pieces of legislation to address found strategic weaknesses showed Nigeria's commitment to the fight against illicit financial flow. According to him, the group accepted 12 mutual evaluation reports that showed there were serious flaws, particularly in terms of national coordination and collaboration, the supervision system and the use of preventive actions by reporting institutions. The deficiencies, according to Mr. Kimela Bolo had a negative effect on the performance levels of the analyzed countries, particularly in the areas of their policies and coordination. Preventive measures, legal persons and arrangements, beneficial ownership and financial intelligence.
The main goal of the summit, according to him, is to raise participants' awareness of new terrorism and money laundering dangers, give them a forum to exchange experiences and encourage teamwork and collaboration in order to effectively execute AML slash CFT preventive measures. My viewers at home, what's your reaction to this? As um, Federal Government revealed that uh, they have looked into who is funding Boko Haram in greater detail. Okay? Alright, it's a good one that uh, the Federal Government has moved, taken so many measures to ensure that uh, the details of those funding. Uh, the terrorist group uh, named uh, Boko Haram and uh, having good details about uh, those funding the Boko Haram is a good move and uh, it's a good idea and they will commend uh, the federal government uh, for doing so. All right. Uh, stay tuned as we go into the comment section, okay? He asked me, the, the, the terrorist group, the Boko Haram, has really brought our country backward and uh, all of insecurity is not being experienced in our country today. Just this morning we heard that uh, uh, two uh, priests that were adopted, uh, that were adopted or kidnapped uh, in uh, uh, Kanna State, has been killed, yes, that saying that they were found dead. And who are these people, you know, kidnapping people? There are still a set of this Boko Haram, yes. In this Boko Haram, we have uh, a lot of uh, crime uh, uh, characterized uh, persons, yes. Uh, it, it is, you see a lot of, uh, you know, crime-related uh, persons as far as uh, this Boko Haram is co consigned, you, you see kidnappers, armed uh, robbers, and uh, all that. Name it. Uh, but uh, we pray that uh, they should uh, change from such a uh, act or from such a uh, uh, business that they may have engaged themselves uh, into. Okay? All right, let's see if we still have some time to take your reactions uh, at the moment. And the uh, time is never a friend. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make this for very round. Bye for now, please, okay?